Jean-Honoré Fragonard, one of the most prominent French painters of the Rococo era, was born on April 5, 1732, in Grasse, France. His career spanned the latter half of the 18th century, a period marked by the transition from the grandiose Baroque style to the more playful and ornate Rococo. Fragonard's work, celebrated for its exuberant color, light-hearted themes, and delicate brushwork, embodies the quintessence of Rococo art. Fragonard was born into a family of glovemakers, a common occupation in Grasse, a town renowned for its leather and perfume industries. His father, François Fragonard, recognizing his son's artistic potential, sent him to Paris at the age of 18 to study art. Fragonard's initial training began under the tutelage of François Boucher, one of the leading painters of the time and a significant influence on Fragonard's style. Boucher's work, characterized by its lush, sensuous quality and pastel palette, left a lasting imprint on the young artist. In 1752, Fragonard won the Prix de Rome, a prestigious art scholarship that provided him the opportunity to study at the French Academy in Rome. His time in Italy, from 1756 to 1761, was formative, exposing him to the works of the great Italian masters and the classical art of antiquity. During his stay, he also met the landscape painter Hubert Robert, who would become a lifelong friend and collaborator. Upon his return to Paris, Fragonard was admitted to the Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture in 1765, presenting his historical painting, Jeroboam Sacrificing to the Idols, as his reception piece. Despite this initial success in history painting, Fragonard quickly gravitated towards the genre that would define his career. The playful, intimate scenes of everyday life and romantic dalliances. Fragonard's Rococo style is characterized by its lightness, grace, and fluidity. His compositions often depict flirtatious encounters and scenes of leisure set in idyllic, pastoral landscapes or opulent interiors. His technique, marked by loose, rapid brushstrokes and a vibrant palette, captures the fleeting effects of light and movement, imbuing his paintings with a sense of spontaneity and joy. One of Fragonard's most famous works, The Swing, see 1767, epitomizes his style and subject matter. Commissioned by the courtier Baron de Saint-Julien, the painting portrays a young woman on a swing, pushed by an older man, while her lover hides in the bushes, gazing up at her with admiration. The scene is imbued with eroticism and playful wit, qualities that are emblematic of Fragonard's oeuvre. The latter half of Fragonard's career coincided with significant social and political upheaval in France. The Rococo style, with its associations to the opulence and decadence of the ancient regime, fell out of favor during the French Revolution. Fragonard's patronage dwindled and he found himself increasingly marginalized. Nevertheless, he continued to paint, adapting his style to the changing tastes of the time. Fragonard married Marianne Gérard, also known as Marguerite Gérard, a talented artist in her own right, in 1769. The couple had four children, although only one, Alexandre Everest Fragonard, would survive to adulthood and pursue a career in art. Alexandre Everest, influenced by his father's work, became a successful painter and sculptor. Despite the decline in his fortunes, Fragonard remained dedicated to his art. He continued to produce exquisite drawings and etchings, many of which were studies for his larger paintings. His later works, such as the series of The Progress of Love, commissioned by Madame du Barry, Louis XV's last mistress, demonstrate a more restrained and classical style, reflecting the changing artistic landscape of the period. Jean-Honoré Fragonard died on August 22, 1806, in Paris. By the time of his death, his style had fallen out of fashion, overshadowed by the neoclassical movement, led by artists like Jacques-Louis David. However, Fragonard's work experienced a revival in the 19th century, as collectors and art historians began to appreciate the charm and technical brilliance of his paintings. Fragonard's legacy endures in his vibrant depictions of 18th century French society and his masterful use of color and light. His influence can be seen in the works of later artists who sought to capture the fleeting moments of everyday life with similar spontaneity and elegance. Today, Fragonard is celebrated as one of the foremost painters of the Rococo era. His works held in prestigious collections around the world, including the Louvre, the Wallace Collection in London, and the Frick Collection in New York.
Jean-Honoré Fragonard's career reflects the vibrancy and complexity of 18th century French art. His work, characterized by its exuberant color, fluid brushwork, and playful themes, captures the spirit of the Rococo era. Despite the changing tastes and political turmoil of his time, Fragonard remained a dedicated and innovative artist whose legacy continues to enchant and inspire. His ability to capture the fleeting joys of life with such elegance and charm ensures his place as one of the great masters of French painting.